Welcome back. This is Imdog, and we have finally gotten to the video that I know you've been looking forward to, and that is the basic of basics of panning for gold. One thing to note is that you have all of the uh, basic panning equipment here in the tent, and you can actually do the panning here in the tent. We're going to bring it outside, which is another option that uh, is available to us. It's getting a little late in the afternoon, uh, early evening time will be coming upon us, but I actually don't think that's a bad thing for panning. I've got my light on, which you can headlamp on, which you can turn on by hitting L on your keyboard. Um, but now that we've gotten our gold pan and our bucket, we are going to be close to ready to go. Let's just set this down over here. Now, you do need one of your good old trusty buckets. Let's fill that full of water couple times make sure we've got fresh water in there and we're gonna put this right here now in the middle of the day when the Sun's real bright uh, I actually find it harder to see the gold sometimes so I will find a little shady spot with the Sun going down like this I'm hoping that we're gonna actually be able to see it really nice we have um, left a water pump on when we really didn't need to let's turn that off now, as you can see, we've got our mats 100%. So the, the panning that we're going to be doing is a full a full pan, okay? So we've gotten these mats all the way up to 100%, and then we drop it on the ground. Let's hope we didn't lose anything there. You're going to wash them in the bucket. If the bucket gets too dirty, in other words, if it's too full, the game will let you know that. But typically, you can get all four mats into one bucket. And remember, these mats is what has been catching all of those rocks and hopefully gold as well. And all the work that we've done in the past couple videos showing you how to use the hog pan no pump and the hog pan pump. All right, now, this bucket is very important. We don't want to dump it. And what you want to do with the ducket bucket is actually pour it into your pan a little scary there because the pan's on an on a on an edge, on a ledge. It's sort of tilted. Um, and then you simply, actually, you don't simply do anything. We got to get water in this. Now we can start panning for gold here. So let's take all this pay dirt and let's see if it has paid off. So the controls are going to take you a little bit of getting used to. Oh, it looks like they turn your light off when you're over this. But this is a combination of using WASD as well as your mouse. Shake those up a little bit and then pour that dirty water out. You can already see the gold. We're going to do it twice, though, just to be sure here. get that water nice and dirty now since this is our first load here I want to show you something if I did that correctly this water should stay pretty clean in other words we've already cleaned the rocks and the gold pieces off as much as we can if you do it twice you really should have pretty much cleaned it all the way up this is some pretty decent little gold we've gotten some good return remember those mats were good and soaked some good pay dirt that we are uh, panning here so we're expecting some decent results you know you're in for a good little piece when the tweezers come out instead of just suctioning the piece up it actually is worth using your tweezers into your jar and that means you're going to be adding to that total amount of gold you have at a pretty good rate now you see it's hard to get to that last piece, so <clears throat> you just want to move, move the tray around a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. The rest of this is clearly just rock, so you can go ahead and dump that. You do have to make sure you completely empty your tray or the game will not allow you to pour the next bunch of gold and rocks into the pan. So let me uh, go ahead and... do one more pan for you and then we will wrap it up in this video 
if you are trying to figure out where to sell the gold at, you actually need to go to the blacksmith for that and melt, melt some gold. The bars that you melt are worth a lot more than just selling the ore straight. And then once the blacksmith has hooked you up with your, uh, your gold bar, then you want to take that to the bank and sell it. I did go over that in the very first video I did, which is more of a long form versus these shorter videos where we're just looking at individual pieces of equipment or individual processes, which is more what this is. Now, I'm going to have, after we finish this one off, I'm going to have a little bit more panning to do, but I'm not going to show you that in the video because it's just more of the same. If you've been watching my uh, gold count, the ounces go up. It's slow but steady with the panning method. And uh, yeah, if you don't enjoy panning, that is okay because you will not have to necessarily do it for long. Let me go ahead and set this down for you. And uh, this will be a little foreshadowing. You can skip this panning step altogether once you have a wavetable. So next video, we'll take a look at how the wavetable works. And, uh, and that'll be fun just to show you another option. But this is the video on how to pan for gold, the very basics of doing that. And you see, it's really not very hard. You just want to be careful not to... Uh, get too aggressive with it so that you don't knock any of those pieces of gold all over the side while you're panning it. All right. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know and I will try to answer them in future videos. Just remember, I am learning myself. So there's a lot about anything beyond tier one or tier one and a half maybe at this point that I just simply don't know yet. But hey, we'll get there and we'll learn it together. Thanks so much for watching.